What's going on? Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Country Boy Cars. And I know y'all haven't seen me back at dealerships yet. It's because this coronavirus is going bananas. So many people are getting sick. So many people are scared and everything like that. So me personally, I send a message to all my salesmen asking them if they want me to come and stuff like that. And um, some of them said, yeah, but starting Monday, because, you know, a lot of stuff's been happening. But that's besides the point. This video is taking place in my garage. Why? Because a lot of people are asking, is the 392 Charger a bust? Is it a great car to have? Is it good on fuel mileage? Is it easy to fix? There's so there's so many questions. Some I know, some I don't know, but yes, I do own one, as you can see. Bam. There it is. But me being the owner of one don't mean I know everything about my car. And but I do know some questions. Like one question is, is it good on gas? No. This scat pack is not good on gas at all. I'm not even gonna lie, you know, and, but it also depends how you drive. Me, I drive far, drive fast, and I know I shouldn't, but speeding is very bad. Please do it with caution. But I like to get where I'm going in a very fast pace. Another question, is everything easy to fix? Well, I have warranty on my car, so if you are buying a brand new car, truck, van, anything, make sure you get the extended warranty and everything. And yes, for the most part, thank God, nothing's bad has happened to my car besides a car accident, but everything was easy to fix. So with that being said, um, I do know if you wanna put upgrades on it, that'll be a little bit more expensive um like i know like a cam system or something like that it's like three to four hundred dollars depending where you go also you can do cool things like get wicker bills or get splitters or put a wide body kit on there tint the windows to make it meaner add an underglow i do have underglow um i just haven't put it on yet and there's so many different ways you can customize this car to make it fit you and your personality. So me, I'm a simple kind of man, you know? Simple kind of man. I like everything simple. I do want to get new rims. Um, of course, I always want to get extra tires. So that's pretty cool. Um, easy to use. A lot of people are asking, is it easy to use? Yes, it's easy to use. What I love about my car on the inside is, I don't even have that many miles on it. Let me scoot it up. <clears throat> so, what I like about my car is yes, everything is easy to use. It does come with the Uconnect system and everything like that. As you've seen in the 2020 video, let me turn this. Um, in the 2020 video, it does have almost everything that you need um, on here, including the Wi-Fi hotspot, the SRT mode, which is, I love it. It is phenomenal me. Um, you have your track, your sport, your custom, your auto audio, and everything like that. And then valet mode. So valet mode is when you pretty much limit your car's performance. As you see right here, it says valet mode will limit the performance of your car and requires a custom pin code for activation and deactivation. Obviously, that word is not car, but I was reading and just thinking. But anyways, yeah. So I love this because when I go get my car washed, the kids always drive my car. And I don't want the kids to drive my car at all. Um, so that's one of the cool features that I love about my car. Um, 
or about the 392 scat pack period another thing is um the heated steering wheel which ugh, i don't really need but it comes in handy when it's cold outside or if you work outside like myself and you know you just want to put it on here i haven't really dabbled into the market yet i don't know what none of that is and it is definitely not 134 see how easy this is let's check the time boom 9 30 yep everything is easy it keeps changing because of this screen so so um right now i'm opening the uconnect market like i said this is something that i never really used or dabbled into because i don't know earn rewards play for fuel get started I don't even know what this is. So. For privacy reasons, I cannot show you what this is. So, matter of fact, you can't even see me. And, um. So, I guess you just registered. Before, other questions that people have is, um, horsepower. So, horsepower on my car i did it on a dyno and i got 447 so i don't know it's, i don't know but i guess it depends on the, the car or the maker or anything like that but um space if you're looking to buy one of these cars the space is pretty awesome i'm not going to go to that market because it asks for a lot of my personal information but yeah there is a lot of space back here you know um definitely a lot of space so here's a better look at the wicker bill you know some cool little upgrades you can add for cheap and that's pretty much it uh, I do think it's a reliable car. It's a very fun car, but it's something you definitely don't want to get a teenager. I'm sorry to say it, but it's definitely something you don't want to get a teenager. So if you're new to my page, please make sure you like, subscribe, hit that post notification bell, and uh, let me stop moving and get back into the light because I want you guys to ask me questions. You know, if there's a car you want me to do a review, no matter what year it is, just let me know. I'll find that card, give y'all a great review, give you my opinion, show you some of the awesome features it has, and all that jazz. So make sure you comment down below, and uh, let's get it.